The history of cinema in India extends to the beginning of the film era. Following the screening of the Lumiere and Robert Paul moving pictures in London in 1896, commercial cinematography became a worldwide sensation and these films Silent Films, 1890s-1920s in 1897, a film presentation by filmmaker Professor Stevenson featured a stage. With Stevenson's camera and encouragement, Indian photographer Hiralal sent film scenes from that show, exhibited as the flower of pure 40, The Wrestlers, 1899, by H. S. Bhartwardaker, showing a wrestling match at the Hanging Gardens in Bombay, was the first film to be shot by an Indian. The first full-length Indian films released in India were the Marathi-language silent films Shri Pundalik, 1912, Dada Saheb Torne, and Raja Harish Chindra. Both were premiered at the Coronation Cinematograph in Bombay. Some film scholars have argued that Pundalik was not a true Indian film because it was simply a recording of a stage play, filmed by a British cameraman with the film. The latter film had a story based on elements from Sanskrit epics, and its successes led many to consider Falke a pioneer. The first Tamil and Malayalam films, also silent films, were Kichakawa then, 1917-1918. R. Nitraja Amuli R50, and Vigate de Kumaran. The latter was the first Indian social drama film and featured the first Dalit cast film actor. The first chain of Indian cinemas, Midan Theatre, was owned by Parsi entrepreneur Jim Shedji from G. Midan, who oversaw the production and distribution. These included film adaptations from Bengal's popular literature and Situadi Raja Harish Chindra, 1917, a remake of Fat. In South India, film pioneer Righupati Vinkuya, credited as the father of Telugu cinema, built the first cinemas in and a film studio was established in the city by Nitraja Mulayar. Film steadily gained popularity across India as affordable entertainment for the masses, admission as low as an NR 116. Young producers began to incorporate elements of Indian social life and culture into cinema, others brought new ideas. Global audiences and markets soon became aware of India's film industry. In 1927, the British government, to promote the market in India for British films over American ones, formed the Indian Cinematograph. The IC consisted of three British and three Indians, led by T. Rangachari, a Madras lawyer. This committee failed to bolster the desired recommendations of supporting British film, instead recommending support for the fledgling Indian film industry, and their suggestion.